Hey guys, this is me, uh, Jay Stone, and this week I gave away YouTube thumbnail templates. Um, and there were three of them, and one of them had this really cool cutout feature where you see my image right here and the background is actually cut out. Now, as a seasoned graphic designer, I can tell you that it took years to learn to do this in Photoshop, especially when you got like the edges of the clothes and the hair, and in fact, I quit doing cutouts because it was so time consuming and quite frankly, I don't have a steady hand. And so there are softwares that will do it online and you know, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. So I was super excited when Canva introduced this feature where they did the background remover. And I've tested it on several images and I'm gonna say 75% of the time it works perfectly. And so right now, I'm just gonna show you exactly where it is and how to use it. So also keep in mind that I am using Canva Pro, right? And so if you have the basic Canva, Canva I'm not sure if the fe these features are uh, there, but there are a lot of different features that are available if you upgrade to Canva Pro. So let's get started with the tutorial. So again, this was for a YouTube, um, it was for a YouTube thumbnail, right? And uploads, I've got a lot of pictures, so if you just be patient with me, I'm going to choose a picture and I'm going to show you. So this is a stock photo that I had of this young lady, so I'm going to put her there twice so we'll be able to see the before and after. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab them so that they're the same size. I'm just going to slide, slide one over here so we can compare it again later. Now I'm going to bring them both to the front, go position, bring to front so that they're both in front of the text right for now. And then I'm just going to put her right here and we're going to leave that one over there so we can compare them. So I'm just going to click the select the photo and you know it's selected because it has the frame around it with the corner circles and the crosshair, the bars that can slide um, out. So that's when you know it's selected because the little line is the same color as my background. So you might not be able to see that. Okay. So select it and I want you to hit effects and effects is pretty new. Don't confuse that with filters where you can change the colors. Like I can change it to black and white um, or some other color in here. Uh, I'm going to choose none because we're not doing that, but it's not there. It's effects. Okay. And effects has cool things in it. There are like pretty cool effects. Um, I don't use any of them, but you can use um, an effect and it'll add a glitch effect. It'll add smear effect, pixelate. So if you're into artistic things like that, change the color of a face. So if you're into things like that, then this works. You can even change the colors to, you know, tones and green but I, I don't like any of that but this is what is in the effects area so I just want you to know what you'll be looking at so right at the top is the background remover remove the background of your image with one click and it literally is one click so when I click it it just does this little thing you see the circle moving there right I just give it time and it blanks a little bit and boom it's done right and here it is Right, and so here's the image before, and here's the image now. Super simple. Now there are some caveats as to how do you know an ideal photo will work. Okay, and I'm gonna put this here. And then when I put this here, I'm gonna actually bring this 2020, I'm gonna click position and bring it to front. And now you've got the white frame in the back, you've got the 2020 on the front, and that kind of gives it a two dimensional effect. All right, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat to do it. And then another thing that you could do is actually add another background position and click center back. And then you can actually create another background back there that might make it cool. And it might say you might change this to best vacation. Spot, spot, okay, can I work? Can you work with me, computer? 
all right and then I'm gonna change this text to a different color uh, so that it will pop off the page probably make it super bright so that's not oh let's just try black now nope, black didn't work white eh, it works okay so something like this all right that works I'll put the pink okay and so that's vacation spots and now it just looks like she's gonna blog about being on vacation again I can make this pretty big so that it comes out in a three-dimensional effect and that's the cool thing that you can do with this stuff all right so let's try a different photo because this one is professional and I'm gonna remove this background and we're gonna try one where I'm gonna put up one of my photos that's not professionally taken because you can see that you can still have a pretty good effect from it um, however you do have to be careful like for example I've tried this photo before and I'm just gonna show you what happens I'm gonna click the fill the um, effects click background remover and it's trying and then I get this error we couldn't detect the background or image please try again the color of the dress and the background are so similar that it could not tell it apart okay so it would not let me do it so that's something you have to be uh, considerate of you want to take a look at and the other thing when pictures are just like really poor quality like poor light and things it'll do it but it'll look crazy because I'm, the window is behind me, so I don't have good light. So it did it, but guess what it did? It made the edges all crazy. It's got, it's hazy. It's just not a good quality image that I would wanna use. But here's another one, and I took this one with my cell phone, um, and it was in good light. And we're gonna just do one more with this. And it takes a few seconds, so just be patient. Don't think it's not working. It just takes some time to figure it out. And then here we go, right? And again, I can put word like the four is behind, the vacation is in front. So again, that helps you give it a, a, a three, a two, three, a two dimensional experience. Now this is the bigger I get with this photo, the more you're gonna see that the quality isn't there right it's grainy it's hazy but it's still effective depending on what you want to do okay so quality photos are going to be important um and let's just try one more um that doesn't work and why it doesn't work so i love this photo i was at black enterprise women of power conference and this is me on the stage right this is me on the stage and these are women gathering around to just kind of talk to me take pictures get my autograph and i just i love this photo because it's so uh in the moment it's a live photo so, but i hit effects and i'm going to show you why it's going to have trouble pulling the background of this all right because it's other people in the image it just kind of doesn't know what's part of the foreground and what's part of the background so it, it it didn't take it all out and these people are standing in front of me and her hair is black her hair is dark, so it's kind of like I'm not sure. Then this one is over here. They don't know if it's connected. So it just it couldn't figure it out. So having a lot of objects in the image, uh, in the photo, definitely can create a problem. Okay. Um, and then my favorite photo, one of my favorite photos is this one. And I have never, I don't think I've tried doing this one yet. So let's do it. Effects. And it's going to blink a little bit, so just be patient. It's not glitching. It's just making sure it's got it. And it did a really good job, actually, with the hair and everything. And so I'm going to resize this. And it really, you can see how clean it did it, even when I resize it. Okay. So put that here. 
I'm going to take this 2020 again and position it, bring it forward. Give me a two dimensional effect. And then let's go back and look at photos. Okay, and for this, we're going to do, I don't know what this is, but it's free. So one of the things you wanna do is click free here. I click this slider right up here and click free. If you're not paying for the premium version, which I am, but you always wanna just choose free stuff. And I'm going to take this one, stretch it out, and then I'm going to position it by setting it uh, to the back. And there I am. Okay, so pretty cool feature that allows you to do a lot of really cool things. And um, again, this feature is the remove background effect. Remove background effect. All right, hope you've enjoyed this and we will see you back here for another Canva template tutorial.